Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Eddie G, with another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, we're going to be slicing up some text inside of Photoshop to have your final project looking just like this. Okay guys, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna need a background for this project. So what I've done is I've already gone ahead and created a dark blue to a lighter blue gradient background. I chose these colors because it's gonna give the end effect just a better overall look. So the first thing that we're gonna do to get our slice text is we need some text. So I'm gonna come over here to my type tool and I'm just simply gonna type the word sliced. Now that we have this nice and big on our canvas, I'm gonna come over here and remember we have the sliced text layer selected and I'm gonna choose the polygonal lasso tool. So I'm gonna start about here and I'm gonna drag it down just to the about the middle section of the, the letter S and then I'm gonna cut across the word sliced at about this angle, come back up and finish off my selection. So now that I have this selected, still making sure that we have our sliced copy layer text here or the text layer selected i'm going to come down here and choose the mask now you can see it's actually cut that off where we selected so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to right click and i'm going to duplicate this layer so now i have a sliced copy layer so i'm going to click on that layer and i'm going to do Control i and what that does is it inverts the mask that we put on the sliced layer. So now with sliced copy selected, I can actually begin to nudge this down to where I want it and move it over a bit to give it that sliced look. So we've sliced the text. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give that more of a definition and we're gonna put a drop shadow in between those two. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and click on new layer and add a new layer. So now with the layer number two selected, I'm gonna control click on the sliced copy layer, which is going to bring back up that mask. So now I come over here and I choose my brush tool and I've got it set to about 100 pixels with a soft brush. And I'm just gonna follow this line down with a black line. Now that I have that painted in, I can actually deselect the, the, or the, uh, the mask. And what I'm gonna do with my layer two, my shadow layer selected, I'm gonna bring this down to about 70%. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna bump that up about 75. Now that I have that in there, I can take my slice layer and I can nudge this down right up against that shadow. And now you can see that we have a slice text with a nice defined shadow. And it looks like we've just taken a knife and cut right through the screen.